Hi everyone, this is Bobby from BN-Games.com and today we're doing a hardware install on my Sega Dreamcast. Today I am installing a GD EMU board to replace the GD ROM that's in it. There's nothing wrong with the GD ROM, but uh, a flashcard solution is a much better solution uh, long term. Uh, I also want to be upfront right now, this is a Chinese clone board, I'm well aware of that. I would love to buy an original board, but unfortunately they're super hard to get a hold of, and when they do go up, people buy them and scalp them for major dollars. So, as soon as I can get one for a reasonable price, I'll put it in another Dreamcast. I fully intend to do that and support the original developer. Unfortunately, I'd like to um, try this out, this GD-ROM doesn't always read the discs I put in it, and, uh, you know, it's a solution that's out there. Unfortunately, it was cloned, and it's uh, much cheaper to get than the original. So here I'm going to disassemble the Dreamcast. Um, this is a uh, not an original shell. This is a, a clone shell. Um, as you see here, I had problems getting the broadband adapter off because the plastic is a little warped. It's not exact to the original Dreamcast. And uh, if you have one of these, you're going to have some trouble uh, taking it apart just a little bit. Uh, be careful because this plastic uh, is very cheap and it's uh, very brittle and uh, can crack easily. But um, yeah, as long as you're careful, it shouldn't be too hard. Pulling it apart can be a little difficult, though, once you get the screws off. You just take those four off and the lid comes off right there. Once you have the lid off, all you have to do is take the three screws off of the GD-ROM board, as you can see here, and then pull it off. Um, you'll find that there's a little tab right there in front, close to the controller ports. Um, you need to pull there a little harder, but uh, just be careful, and it should pop right out. That's the only thing holding it in. That's where the connector is. The GDEMU comes with these little plastic standoffs that go to the bottom of the board. Uh, that's to keep it standing up uh, with the connector, as you can see on the bottom here. Uh, you know, you're going to be removing SD cards and you don't want to press down on that connector and cause uh, any more pressure or damage to it. And uh, once you have those on there, you just plug it into the same port as you see here as the GD-ROM was. And uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, I've read that there's compatibility issues with SD cards, uh, specifically with sizes, and uh, I went with one that I've seen online that people say works really well, and uh, that's what we're going to use here. I can confirm at this point in the video it does work, and uh, I'll put a link to that in the bottom in the description. At this point, I would recommend testing your Dreamcast with the lid off. Make sure it boots up, you know, just plug in the power and AV, and make sure it works, otherwise you'll have to take the thing apart again. I'll admit I had a little bit of trouble getting it to work the first time. I just reseated the board. I pulled it off and put it back in, and after that, Dreamcast screen came up and booted right up. At this point in the video, I've already prepared the SD card with a couple of games. I'm not going to go into how you do that. Um, there are plenty of forum posts out there that will help you with this part and how to get the games and that sort of thing. Um, but I just wanted to show what the menu looks like once you've booted up and showing the games working in real time. Welcome to Lay Paradise. Select an area. Large area. Enjoy your fishing. 
And right now I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch games or switch discs. Uh, in the Dreamcast itself, there's a little button on that board right next to the SD card, which will take you back to the menu, and at this point, you can select another game, or if you're playing a game that has multiple discs, you can select disc 2, disc 3, and that sort of thing. And there you have it. Now I'm going to put this thing back together after I've tested that it's working and uh, start playing some games. So the most difficult thing about this entire setup is actually preparing the SD card. Um, you need to read the form post carefully on how the card is formatted, how the games are loaded, that sort of thing. What I will do is I will leave a link in the description um, to where those tools exist. All of those tools will do will help you with formatting the card and if you have the games prepared already, load them. But uh, that is on you. Um, otherwise, it's pretty easy. I mean, the installation is a, is a breeze. And uh, there are other CD-based console solutions coming up. The same creator of this has a Sega... Uh, same creator of this board has a Sega Saturn um, variant, and I'd like to get my hands on that as well. Would love to do that to uh, one of my Saturns. And this hopefully will be the trend for all of the CD-based consoles as we go. Unfortunately, these CD-ROMs are going to die, and um, Flashcart Media allows you to play multiple games that you may own, you know, like this one does. But there's all advantages, no disadvantages, and most important to me, it's not emulation. I'm using real hardware, and uh, will greatly expand the life of these consoles as time goes on. So, And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, yes, this is a clone, and yes, I will get an original as soon as I can, as soon as it's not an arm and leg, and I want to support you know the original team that made this the original person I, I don't know them personally but I really want to support that scene but this Dreamcast was having some problems and unfortunately the clones are out there they're very accessible and relatively cheap especially compared to the original thing anyway if you have any questions please put them below and I will try to answer what I can please subscribe and let me know what you think thank you